How's it going, Internet? So today we are reviewing a uh, battery-powered pump, and this is a tire inflator. Um, this one is designed for maximum 160 PSI rating, but is mainly used for cars, motorcycles, and according to this, bicycles, scooters as well, and your ball basketball and soccer and things like that uh this one's made by the company called vivor i reviewed one of their uh, ultrasonic cleaner before uh so vivor is kind of like a uh, how do you say it they make products that are cheaper than what you can find from the actual retail stores and uh, they are mostly made in china so they undercut their competition with price. Um, but um, you can get things for cheaper and they might not last as long or as good as a named product, but they do their job just fine, okay? So this one, I'm gonna think it's gonna be similar. Um, let's open up the package and just take a quick look. So the reason I bought this uh, tire inflator on Amazon is because first thing first, it's super cheap. $16 on sale, okay? And uh, it's actually quite hefty, it's not that light, okay? Because there's a big battery in it and there's a big pump uh, module built in this as well. Uh, I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. Okay, let's see. All right, so Vivor, again, you know the company, they sell a gazillion of different products. Um, most of those are undercutting their competition in price. Um, so, a few kits that are included. You have a carrying pouch, that's nice. You have a car power adapter. So you can plug this in to charge things with a um, constant power. And you have a charging cable. This is a micro USB charging cable. Oh, actually this is a USB-C charging cable, which is pretty nice, quite modern. And uh, you probably have a pump adapter for different... All right, so I just finished reading the instructional manual and I have this on one of my uh, charging unit right here. When it is charging, it's gonna flash with a battery sign. Supposedly when it's fully charged, it's gonna display a long bright battery sign. So obviously it's still charging. And when I turned the power on, the battery was in orange color. The battery indicates different levels of charge. Green means it's above 70. Orange is like 30 to 70. Red is below 30 and between 5 to 30%. And flashing red when you are having this powered on means the battery is at about 5% or less. That's probably when you want to really charge your battery. So it also appears that while it's charging, the indicator light actually changes color as well. So it looks like it charged from the red blinking, which is less than 30% right now to orange blinking, which is between 30 to 70. So I'm expecting this to go green and uh, eventually go solid green. That's my suspicion that when this charging is finished, it's gonna be what it's looking like. I'm just gonna peel this off. It actually looks pretty sleek and nice. And uh, in terms of size, Okay, you can hold this with just one hand. Um, the air is probably going in from there and it's going out from, or like it's going in from the side, I don't know. Um, but the this adapter, you turn, you twist and turn. Once you twist it, you can pull this off. And um, this is what it looks like, okay? And what's also cool is this thing can be used as a charging device to charge your uh, your phone or out of the device that needs to be charged, which is kind of nice. Okay, this is what the head looks like. And this is a sh Schrader valve um, connector. So you pretty much just screw this onto your Schrader valve on your car and it should start charging and read the pressure. Um, I'm gonna leave this on the side. So, and uh, that's uh, that's pretty much the features. And here is the, um, the hole for the DC adapter. Um, in terms of battery capacity, it's, I think it's around, 
I don't know. You guys can read the tag and, and figure it out yourself. But I think it's somewhere around 28.86 uh, watt hours rated. Okay. So, yeah, um, not too shabby. Another interesting thing is the flashlight feature. Okay. So there's a flashlight over here, which is, I think, operated by the... Okay, you can't really use it. Uh, when the power is off but this is the flashlight that's the power button if you press it it turns on Pr don't press it turns on and plus minus is to change the pressures and uh, this is to switch between the car motorcycle bicycle uh, the ball and a custom mode so that's pretty simple like uh, four buttons five total and that is this little tire inflator all right so it's still charging but uh, we already we went through a few more like functions of, of this little charger. So um, I'll see you guys in the next section. All right, so it took about, um, about four hours for this to charge from being less than 30% to completely full. And now it's completely full. It turns a solid green battery full icon. So I can unplug it. And uh, I think next step we can go outside, set it to the preset, and we're gonna just test it on my scooter and see how well it works. So you turn the power on by long pressing. It is on. If you press now, it's gonna start inflate. So if you press the power button a second time, it's gonna inflate. And uh, right now it's saving my personal pref preferred PSI at 36 and right now it's detecting zero PSI because I don't have any tires um, inserted here. So when you turn this on, it starts to detect the tire pressure and you press the power button again, it starts to inflate to the desired pressure. That's how it works and we're going to test it next. I'm going to long press to turn it off and that's how you turn it off. All right, so we are outside and uh, we're gonna try to inflate the scooter's rear tire first. This is my Piaggio 150, okay? So the rear tire is kind of situated a little bit on this side and I'm gonna try my best to hopefully plug this wire on there because it's a little bit tricky. It's not a 90 degree turn. So I just gotta probably try to use both hands and get it on there so and then we're trying to inflate it and detect the current tire pressure all right so uh, I kind of got the turn started and now I just plug it in and it's it's actually ready to go um, let's turn the, the thing on see if it detects the current pressure 25.5 that's way too low okay so my rear tire is rated at actually 36. So I'm just gonna press the power button and see how long it inflates from 25 to 36. minute less than one minute from 25 psi to 36 psi which is rated for uh, this scooter so if you don't know the psi on your car or scooter always find the tag so right here the rear should be 36.3 psi code and the front should be 26.1 psi code all right so we're gonna check the front which we're gonna set it to 26 hopefully it, it is 26 but for the rear actually i want to make it 27 so i'm just gonna customize my personal setting to 27 and i'm gonna inflate one more time pressing the power button <laughs> and that is simply amazing okay simply amazing it's so much faster than the actual little tiny pump that um the non 
rechargeable tiny pump that you usually get uh, with your car. So let's try the front tire. Front tire is rated at 26.1, I think. So let's set it to 20, let's set it 27.5, just to overinflate just a little bit. And this one, I may be able to do it with one hand, let's see. All right, I got the front um, hooked properly. It's reading 24. Let's set it to 27.5. Start. And it's done. Super, super quick and easy, right? Oh my God. So I think if you have a little scooter, okay, or even if you have a car, this is way better than a um, one of those portable pump that doesn't have a, a lithium iron battery building. This one is very, very powerful, a lot more powerful actually than many of those small pumps. So I'm gonna go inside and test this on my bicycle using the Presta valve adapter. See how quick and well it inflates my uh, high pressure road tires on my bike. So let's go ahead and do it. But for now, I'm already super impressed with its performance. And oh yeah, check out the flashlight. Um, if you press the flashlight, it's on, super bright, very good for um, at, at evening, like roadside assistance in the evening, you can't see anything. This thing is bright. It also has an SOS function. I think you long press. Nope, you press once. So this is flashing and you press twice, that's SOS and which is pretty cool and you press again it's off and uh, so that's flashlight I pretty much demonstrated all the functions there is to the little pump so let's go inside let's try it on the bicycle before I make a final conclusion all right so we are inside I have the pump here and uh, this is the Presta valve adapter okay you need this adapter um, to use this Schrader valve pump to properly adapt to the bicycle tires right here, okay? I'm gonna show you how it was uh, operating. Oh, shoot. And that's something that you don't want to happen. Um, so I screwed this into my valve and somehow it, when I pulled it out, it pulled the valve with the bicycle tire. Uh, you have to be really careful if you're using the adapter, okay? This adapter, um, when you pull it out, let me actually just rotate it out because right now my tire is completely flat. All right, I screwed the valve core back on there. Now modern uh, Presta valve tubes have removable valve core. It's good and bad. The bad thing is with this, okay, it already turned it off after probably like five minutes of um, inactivity, which is cool. Um, is that if you accidentally use this Presta valve adapter by putting it on here. Okay, so first thing first, you need to make sure this is loose, okay? So again, just your same procedure as you pumping the tire. You gotta loose the top, and then you gotta put this adapter in there. Hopefully it locks in place. I gotta use two hands again, okay. So let me lock it. So once this is on there, it doesn't have to be super tight, okay? Now you put this on the Presta valve. So you're gonna just align and rotate and hopefully get in there and get it ready to go. All right. So it should be connected. And now we are just gonna turn on the power. Long press. Pressure is zero, obviously. I deflated my tire. And we're just gonna inflate to 60 PSI on this uh, 32C tire, 700 by 32C. I'm gonna start right now.
right, so a little more than a minute, I think. Um, and right now, you the the hardest part. I'm gonna turn this off first. Is to properly take it off without removing the valve core when you turn this. So you gotta be really careful. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try to again do it with two hands. All right, so. I tried on my road bike a few more times and it literally just keeps pulling my valve core out on the removable valve core uh, tubes, which is very frustrating, okay? So I'm gonna give it one last try. This is my mountain bike, okay? So it's a specialized uh, stump jumper and I have a, a high volume tire installed. This one, interestingly, also has a pre-stop valve, so you need that adapter. The good news is this pre-stop valve have, um, has a non-removable valve core, which on the top you see it doesn't separate um, from the bottom. So it doesn't turn. You are not able to remove this. Once this tube is done, it is done, okay? For this one, fortunately, if I use this, it will not give me any issues while I'm trying, when I finish with inflating and I, I need to remove it, I turn this, it will not remove the valve core and in turn completely deflate your tire. So I would say the only application you're gonna use this uh, Prista adapter is on non-removable uh, valve core Prista tubes, okay? If you have a removable valve core, it's gonna be really, really hard too impossible. And now I'm gonna actually just go ahead and connect. And uh, I think I already have the power on on the V4 tire inflator. Okay, let's see. It reads 26.5. The tire is reading at 35, so I am, okay, off, I'm gonna inflate. And, Start. There we go. Super, super easy. And now I'm going to remove it. Let's see. So I think the easiest thing, easiest thing for me to do is with two hands. So this is off, and now I'm gonna try to remove this. Now, since the valve core is not removable, that little small thread is not gonna catch onto anything. And now I can close the valve, okay? And then it is done. So definitely, definitely, if you're using the Prista valve adapter, do not use it on a removable valve core you will screw your bike. Okay, so now this one, let's take a closer look. Non-removable valve core, great news. Guess what, we can use this as well and quickly inflate it to, uh, I think this one is rated at, uh, let's just use 35, the same thing, okay? So, so the front is at 24. Again, I'm gonna start. Now, one thing to note, uh, this tube, once you fix it on here, it's not turnable. So it's not flexible. You have to kind of find the right uh, angle so the tube doesn't twist. Otherwise, if it twists too much, I think it's gonna damage it in the long run. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the power button, let it inflate. <laughs> So it is done. Okay, since uh, I'm in my studio, let's just do a conclusion on the Vivor tire inflator. This is the 160 PSI rated tire inflator. Vivor's motto is tough tools, half price. 
And I think they definitely delivered in terms of value for this uh, $16 tire inflator, okay? It's got building lithium iron battery. It's got a DC adapter. It's got a flashlight. It's got USB ports to charge your USB devices if they actually do run low. And uh, uh, obviously the main purpose of this is to charge and inflate all kinds of tires. Now in that regard, I think you definitely get great bang for your buck for $16 if you buy this one. Um, it will work absolutely great on cars, on motorcycle tires, and on bikes that has Schrader valves, okay? So if you have a Presta valve, it really depends. You need to check to make sure your Presta valve is, the valve core is non-removable, okay? Again, you can't unscrew this top part. If you can, do not, do not use this one, okay? Because of the adapter, for the for the Presta, Presta valve, when you pull it out by screwing the counterclockwise, it will pull the valve core out with it, guaranteed. So buy a tube that doesn't have removable core, you're gonna also work great um, on the bicycle tires. I only tested up to 100 PSI. Nowadays, the tires are getting wider, higher volume. You rarely, rarely need to go above 120 in that regard, like maybe a 23C, which is still very rare nowadays, you can go to 120, but 160, never. But this thing goes up to 160. So if you do have that need, it is capable, but keep in mind that this thing works great for high volume, low pressure applications. So scooter tires, car tires that have less than 40 PSI, and including mountain bike tires that has um, less than 40 PSI, this thing will inflate in less than a minute from maybe halfway full to full. And from empty to full, maybe less than two minutes. So really, really quick and really, really easy. If you need to use this to inflate bicycle tires from zero to 100, probably less than three minutes because it starts to get really hot and high pressured um, within this mechanism that all the components start to get really hot with that high pressure heat generated. So just keep that in mind. Would I take this with me on a bicycle trip? Probably not. I'm just going to grab my super light, you know, hand pump. It does the exact same thing. And it's probably one quarter of the weight of this gigantic pump. Okay. So would you carry this in your car? Absolutely. This is probably the best case scenario is using this for your car. Another best case scenario is use this for your motorcycle. If your motorcycle has some sort of storage or your scooter has some sort of storage, throw this in the storage because those tires deflate rather quickly. So if you have this all the time, you can always check to have the proper tire pressure for your scooter and motorcycle. Um, proper tire pressure is important. It prevents you from accidental, you know, slip and also prolongs your tire life on both the cars, motorcycles, bicycles, pretty much all the, you know, applications that you need to inflate. Proper pressure is important. In that regard, this thing also excels. Okay. So my conclusion, I highly recommend this. If you, if you, you know, need a tire pump for your car, for your motorcycle, for your scooter, for your bicycle with non-removable valve core. All those applications, this thing absolutely excels. On top of that, you can charge your phone. You can use it as a flashlight in the emergency. So very, very versatile. And again, for $16, guys, this cannot be beat. The Revore Tire Inflator, um, I'm a believer. So I just bought a brand new motorcycle. And that's the reason I bought this tire inflator. And now, even before I go pick up my bike, um, I am gonna have full confidence. I'm gonna leave this in my motorcycle and always have proper tire pressure. And that would be such a relief for me, okay? And I also hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, 
please do hit the thumbs up button or subscribe to my channel. And I will have more similar, you know, gadget review videos coming out for you guys. And uh, after probably, I would say, four or five tire pumping, it's still showing green. So, um, yeah, it's going to last you a long time. But if you just keep it always charged, you will never run out of juice on this tire inflator. So that's it. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.